My coverage of Computex 2019 is sponsored by Techware, providing quality computer and gaming products. And that's who we're finally going to look at today. Even though these guys supported my Computex trip, I'll always be honest in what I say, so don't worry, I won't massively shield their products. As you guys know, a lot of my content is with budget mechanical keyboards because the fact is, mechanical keyboards are expensive, and budget mechs makes what we all love more accessible to more people. Techware is one of those brands that offer budget mechs, and the Phantom TKL that I reviewed last year was one of my favourites. The Phantom 87 features customizable RGB backlighting with double shot ABS keycaps. PBT would be a nice upgrade, but would be more costly. What I loved about this keyboard was that it was hot swappable, but only with Altemu key switches, as it's using the Altemu sockets. But that's still better than no hot swap at all. The other thing was that it had a steel plate rather than aluminium, so it packed a bit more heft, and this is also available in the full size option if you need the numpad. The hot swap issue with the original Phantom is fixed with the Phantom Elite, as it uses the Kale hot swap sockets instead, which accept majority of key switches, so that includes Cherry MX, Gatoron, Kale, Altemu, etc. But it comes at a higher price. The new board that they brought along though was a prototype of their upcoming Spectrum Pro. I like that they've gone with a design change on this one as the Phantoms are low profile boards with floating key designs, so the key switches are exposed. Whereas here they've gone for a more traditional and in my opinion cleaner high profile design hiding the key switches, but that means we get the plastic enclosure rather than exposed steel, but to be clear it still has a steel plate. And this is what I love about this keyboard, it's aesthetic design, there's nothing angular about it, it's very simplistic with clean edges and rounded corners. We even get a perfect implementation of side glow RGB lighting with just a simple line all the way around. Like their other keyboards, it has customizable RGB backlighting and double shot ABS keycaps, and it has Altemu key switches to keep the price down, as well as the hot swap sockets, making it hot swappable with other Altemu key switches. It features a detachable cable, which is awesome. On the prototype, it was micro USB, but they said they'd be moving over to USB-C based on people's feedback. A new addition to the range is their knob or wheel in the top right corner. For now, I believe it only controls lighting, but they did say they may implement more functionality into it, but it may be tough to do so. So it's looking like an awesome keyboard so far, and with the potential changes, it could be a popular budget choice for people looking for a board like this. It's always great to see more and more features trickle down to the budget end, and the Spectrum Pro is an example of budget mechanical keyboards getting better, but there is always room for improvement, but when you're restricted by price, it's always a challenge. Big thanks again to Techware for supporting my Computex 2019 coverage, they're not solely a mechanical keyboard company, so they had a bunch of other stuff as well, with their mice, headsets, PC cases and all that. So some of you may be wondering why Techware? I picked them because of how I feel about mechanical keyboards. It's companies like this that make getting a mechanical keyboard easier for people. We deal with customs and the enthusiast community is mainly based around high-end stuff, but a mech is a mech and the low end is constantly getting better, which I really love to see. And to see that they're a Philippine grown brand made me even more proud, so I wish them the best of luck for the future. I'd love if you check them out with the links below and show them some love.